city cases this time. The first one is CU 2015-05 Carson McLean Incorporated. Thank you. There go. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the city has six items on the agenda this evening. Uh, staff is recommending approval of all six of these with some conditions. And I know we're getting later into the evening with the agenda. Staff is actually going to try and run through these a little more quickly. We we'll covered these in great detail at the work session. So here we go. All right, this first one is a conditional use request by Carson McLean uh, for a funeral home accessory facility in RP zoning. Probably is located at 108 West Park Avenue. This is a historic building in the historic district, with the local historic district and the National Register District. They are wanting to keep the building and preserve it and even enhance it um, and leave it in its historic residential character and utilize it for accessory use to the funeral home operation for Carson uh, McLean, which is across the street, um, across Patterson to the east. Um, in your packet is the site plan as well as floor plans. You can see where they're proposing to add 10 parking spaces with a driveway that connects through to some other property that they own. By code, this um, use of this facility is only required to have five parking spaces. But that, of course, is believed not to be enough We're, from a practical standpoint, hence the 10 spaces that will be paid, some additional overflow. But more importantly, they can secure parking agreements with nearby properties probably well over 100 parking spaces as well as the parking that already exists in the funeral you know, home. So in other words, parking is not a concern. Um, given that this is RP zoning, the conference plan is transitional neighborhood, um, which with RP really fits that to a T, residential and professional offices, funeral you know, home facilities as being sort of the lower key um, end of that range of intense and not the commercial nature of the full-blown funeral you know, home but as an accessory use using historic residents, it seems to fit very well in this location. So staff is recommending approval with the five conditions that you see there in the packet. I will not read through them, but they deal with some different topics. We did cover those at the work session. I'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have. Any questions for staff? Yeah, one real quick. We have a couple of them. Okay. Mr. Wills, please go ahead. Oh, okay. Does uh, McLean's have any problem with those five uh, conditions? No, sir, they aren't, and the applicant is here to speak for themselves. Too. That's fine. That's good enough. Here's the last question. Right. Any other questions for staff? There being none, anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward this time. And please state your name and address for a record. I'm Britt McLean, and my address is 4708 San Salvador, Hey <coughs> So, uh, we are proposing to purchase this old historic home and make it a facility for receptions. As you know, many times uh, following a funeral, a family will want to get together, have a meal together, that sort of thing. Folks these days don't always have access to a place to do that, like a church or, or things like that, or out of town or, or whatever. And so, we feel like this would be an enhancement of our service to folks to be able to provide a place for them to have a meal together. And um, so that's why we're going to purchase this house. We may also use it for uh, similar type gatherings, receptions for the community, maybe small weddings or birthday parties, anniversary parties, things like that. And uh, we also see it as an investment in the neighborhood. We, we, since we're there, we have adjacent property, we want uh, things to be done well. and. And maintain a, a real high and nice historical standard. Any questions for Presenter Selene? I know you got one. No, no, no. I do, I do, I do have a quick question. Uh, you're going to abandon the existing two wheel drive? Yes, yes. Now, the, the, the existing two wheel drive there goes under a portico beside the house there. We, won't, we will not take down that portico. Uh, and what we'll probably do is just take up the paving as it encumbers the new uh, paved parking into the driveway. And, and for the drawing here, it looks like, may you correct me, that, that doesn't, the, the two-wheel drive connects to the new pavement, so the new pavement does not go all the way to the road? That's probably going to be changed. Okay. I think the fire department expressed some uh, concerns about that. Part of what we'll do is, is, from that plan there, remove the two parking spaces that are in the front yard, and use the parking 
the additional pay service that we would gain from that to extend that payment to the way. Mr. Chairman, they're trying to minimize the amount of additional paving that they add to the site. So they're trying to economize. They have not engineered this in detail yet. It's still conceptual design, but that's the goal. When you get ready. And it's not been pointed out, but this is on the Historic Preservation Commission agenda for next week. Yeah. It's also minor changes to the site and the handicap ramp and so forth. Any other questions for a presenter? Any other questions? Thank you very much, sir. Anybody else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone here wishing to speak in opposition to this request, please come forward. There being none, commissioners, any discussion amongst ourselves on this request? There being none, I will take a motion this time. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Um, I make a motion we recommend to the City Council about us to uh, approval of this conditional use permit with the five conditions of staff to found one on page number two. Second. We have a, we have a motion from Commissioner Willis. We have a second from Commissioner Ball to approve this. This, this amendment. So, if we want to have a uh, this time, let's show a show of hands for all those who just speak in favor of this. And there's also eight zero unanimous Mr. Paul Matt, thank you so very much for your looking forward to that. Our next.